Greetings, royal family. So I'm starting a new segment or playlist on my YouTube channel. Um, it's going to be an Ask the Queen segment. And this is where people come and ask me anything. And I'm going to respond here um, for advice, in my opinion, on different situations or anything. So I got this first message, and it is kind of shocking. And I'm reading it to y'all. So here's what the girl says. I'm not going to tell people's names or their business. I will leave that private, but the situation, I'll read the situation and then read and then explain how I feel about it. So it says, I'm going to get straight to the point. My boyfriend has sex with my sister. I love him, but I don't trust him anymore. We have a newborn together. We've been together about five years and I'm only 20 years old. I've never really been with anyone else on this level. I'm scared to step out of my comfort zone. Everyone tells me that I'm young and that we can work this out and we can get past it, but I don't know if I really want to. What should I do? So, okay. First, your boyfriend slept with your sister. Says that he's, she slept with him for an extended period of time. So let's say, first off, any period of time is too long. Just straight up too long. Number Okay, first issue is that I would say that someone who, treat, who cheats on you doesn't deserve you. They don't deserve your time. And they don't deserve what you bring to the table because they're not willing to work it out if they're finding the comfort that you can give them in someone else. That's number one. Number two is that, yeah, you've been with him a long time. And I understand, you know, that that's hard. And, you know, history means a lot, especially when you're young. Um, but if he's not remorseful about the situation, then you definitely don't need to be with him. If he's not genuinely sorry. So, like, if he is going to give you any but, like, this is your fault, this is why I did that, anything other than sorry, he doesn't deserve you. He just doesn't. And with your sister, she disown her. Just be completely done with her. And I'm only saying that because that's your sister. That's your flesh and blood. So if you don't respect me enough to turn down the man that I'm dealing with when he tries to approach you as my sister, you're not even family to me. And you, the blood we share means nothing. And that's what your actions have shown. And I feel like, you know, yeah, you have a child with him. And I think the biggest thing you need, to, the biggest thing that you both need to understand that it's not about either of you. It's completely about the child. It has nothing to do with you all at this point. So him cheating, that just means that you don't want to be with him anymore. If you don't want to be with him, don't be with him. And if you want to be with him, be with him. I'm just going to, but don't complain about how he cheated on your on you with your sister every time y'all get in an argument because you wanted to continue to be with him. You can't do that. You're going to you gonna forgive and forget and try to move past it. Do that, but don't halfway do it. And that goes back to what I was going to acknowledge about what your family was saying about how you should, you know, you're young, y'all can get past this blase, blase, hey, they're only right slightly. You're young. You can get past him. You don't have to spend your life waiting around and putting up with the BS of some man because you're young and y'all have a kid together. That's how people end up 40 and 50 years old, unhappy with five kids by the same person that they've hated for a long time. You don't have to live like that. I mean, if you want to, I'm not knocking you. Everyone has their own do you? It's your life. You got to do what's happy for you, what makes you happy, and what makes you feel good in your skin for you. But me personally, I drop them. To the loose, I am not a loser. Like, especially if you're going to disrespect you and y'all have a newborn. So if they've been cheating, they was probably cheating on you while you was pregnant. That's, mm -mm, don't do it, mama. You deserve so much better. So much better. And even though, like, as a single mom, I'll just tell you straight up that, you know, you never feel like the road is easy when you do when you're doing the job of two people by yourself. Like the road is not easy. You know what I'm saying? But 
the 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 peace of mind you find by not having to deal with the significant other that gets on your nerves priceless priceless i'm telling you, you can't find it nowhere else i'm not gonna draw this video out but i'm just gonna say that that's my opinion on that he doesn't deserve you and if he did he would do better just throwing that out there <laughs>